Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Likumbari. Welcome the place back. where everybody knows your name. Not really. <laughs> There's nobody here except. There's nobody here. Exactly. <laughs> yep, yep. We have paintings. And you know what's funny? We almost had Francesca two weeks in a row. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Yeah, but she didn't make it. She, she didn't, didn't make, make the cut. It. She didn't make the cut. <laughs> she uh, she was a little bit uh, under the weather. Yeah. But I you know what? You get to see me here. Guys, come on. I'm here. <laughs> this this is a podcast oh. now. <laughs> look, yeah. Look, you see that? I'm here. There you go with a different background Still, tonight. It's a different background. We're yeah. always at M Studio. It's amazing. Yes. Um, when we do this, uh, you know, we come up every week. Mm-hmm. It's hard to keep one going every week, so that's why you see the Zoom ones as well. We do a bit of both. Yeah. But it's fun, and we have a good topic tonight. We do, and we do. And we've done a lot of other destination topics, um, but this one, I think, is the creme de la crop de la creme. Creme de la crop de la creme. That's, that's right. Okay. And it's the Amalfi Coast. I love it. I love it, too. I've been. I've been uh, when I was 18, the last time I was there. That's a long fucking time ago. Yeah, I, but I went in 2018, like a really, but on the Thermali side. That's like a really, really long time ago. That's as long ago. as you, Vanny. It's so. really... No, I went four years ago. I went for... <laughs> 2018. I went in 2018. You've never been to the Amalfi? Yes, in 2018. I just oh, said. you went in 2018? Yes. Oh, no, why you went when I was 18, which is like 12 years ago. Yeah. So... 12... Uh, 12 years <laughs> 12 to the years power ago. of. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So the last time I was there, and it's as if I just went, you know, last year or this summer. It was just, actually, I did go to Europe this summer, but not the Amalfi Coast. It is, a, it is a stunning view. It is incredible. Now, if anybody doesn't know about the Amalfi Coast and they wish to visit, I strongly, strongly suggest. Why? So it's a stretch of coastline in the southern part of Italy. So it's overlooking, and I don't know if I can pronounce this correctly, the Tyrrhenian Sea and the Gulf of Salerno. Now, so, when you say overlooking, because I didn't overlook it, I, w I saw it from the bottom. The Amalfi? I yeah, no, it actually is. Uh, you can. It says the the Amalfi itself is overlooking. So I don't know where you were standing. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I was in the water. I took the boat. Oh, okay. So well, I yeah, saw it going you're, upwards, you're, right? Well, yes, but I mean, if you go from the top, you're overlooking. Well, yeah, and if you go from the bottom, you're, you're underlooking. <laughs> you're underlooking. <laughs> so they're saying, why is the Amalfi so popular? Well, it actually is very popular. One of the highest tourist areas, Amalfi and Positano. Um, so what other cities? What are what are the? You have a Positano. You have Sor the Sorrento Peninsula, which is not very far. Uh -huh. You have um, the Positano, and it's called Vietri sul Mare. So, and it's also you have the the Grotto. I think is not far from there. Capri is not far from there. But I mean, so in this that is the southern part in that peninsula, I know. I remember I stopped in Amalfi and I stopped in Positano. Yes, gorgeous. But is there any other little? There's Capri. And yeah, okay. actually, a couple of hours before you hit the Amalfi, there's Amantea, which is the southern part of Italy. And I visited mm -hmm. there because my mom's side of the family was from there. Okay. So, um, yes, I was part of that whole thing. That whole thing. thing. Yes. So, um, there are a lot of things to see in the Amalfi. So, you have your high cliffs, you have your coves, there's the bay. Um, they have terraces, a lot of terraces So, there. nothing beats the charm of those little towns oh they're like, gorgeous everything is so authentic and they're going up like it's all going up they're built of the houses and the shops they're mm -hmm. all built going up the mountain exactly it's fucking the charm is it's beautiful it's unbelievable gorgeous. so you have a lot of citrus fruit there okay so you have yeah. your terraces you have your citrus fruit um the artisan shops are to die for yeah absolutely everything is authentically made from there and I mean, if it is not your style of, of let's say, artisan art, I still recommend buying one because that is, it's very authentic to Cal uh, Calabria as well as the Amalfi Coast, the southern part of Italy. Um, so the Amalfi Coast is actually rated, believe it or not, oh. one of the most expensive summer holiday destinations in Europe. What? Yes. Cost me nothing. Well, I don't know where I you I mean, went. nothing. I don't think it costs you nothing. Well, no, I mean the plane ride, whatever. I, you know, we went to Rome, and from Rome, I went to my mom's hometown. Yeah. So it's a couple hour drive, mm -hmm. and then uh, my mom's hometown is about forty five minutes away from the Amalfi Coast. So I drove Very up. Nice. I drove there. I mm -hmm. got on the. They call it the traghetto. It's a little boat. Yeah. 
and they take you. They it's like a it's like a hop on hop off. Yeah. But for boats, it's and like they, taxi. Do, they do they do every yeah yep. they do every little uh, spot. Yep. They have like a little beach as well, if I'm mm-hmm. not mistaken. You go and then you come back, and you do the you can do the rounds all day long. You can jump on whenever you want. Yeah, exactly. Get off and. I walked up. Uh, Positano was just, it's just it's dive, stunning. Yeah. I had dinner overlooking the sea. It's in, gorgeous. In that charm. It, the meal was amazing, but it's gorgeous. It's like the water, it's the color. I don't know, man. It was fucking. There's there's a charm like I can't explain. Yeah. It's yep. beautiful. The water's amazing. The the food is amazing. Just sitting there, it's like a date etched in my mind that I will never forget. We just mm-hmm. sat there, the whole family, my parents, my kids, and yep. it was stunning the of best course. plate up i remember every dish that i had that day every bite that i took it was just so savory and beautiful yeah. and then you walk around and you see the people working yeah and the people that live there and yeah it's it's something to see man absolutely it's it's just the ambiance is very very um uh, simple it's a simple place but beautiful at the same time so it's not extravagant the extravagance comes from their their work um you know the, the like i said the artisan workshops the food a lot of paintings a lot of paintings yeah. and you don't find that here and it's very touching to the to the area so when you overlook and you see the ocean or the sea rather at this point it's it's breathtaking so the water itself is like a very royal blue yeah so yeah. it's it's out of this world and I mean, I highly recommend if you want to go someplace um, very calming, very serene, but beautiful at the same time, highly recommend. Yes. I wouldn't recommend staying too long. I, again, it's small. It's right? super small. Uh, if you like the charm and yeah. you want to be in that charm, it's cool. Yeah. Like it's cool to go and, and you know, you can go one day in the beach. I mean, yeah. to be it's honest, rocky though there. The, beach the beach is very is rocky. rocky. So it's, you know, you're not going to sit on beautiful white sand. It's yeah. very rocky. Yeah. Um, and the boats, you know, you can stay on the boat all day long. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, but I mean, you know, to to do like two weeks there is like I find maybe a little bit too long. Too long. Too long. Too at, long. at night, it probably calms down and nothing really happens. I I don't know. I didn't say I did a whole day. Uh, uh, no, there, it's not exactly. If you're looking for a place to be entertained in terms of discotheque, it's not the place. Oh, From no, what no. I remember no, now, no. I don't know now. Although I could go to that whatever restaurant I went. I yeah. can't remember the name of it. I would go back to that restaurant every night right now. Yes. Like it, it, and I would enjoy every dish there because it just was so good. Yeah. <clears throat> and that ambiance was just delicious. So it's gorgeous. Know. And um, they, now, the big thing are the beaches. Now, the beaches are rocky, harder to tan, but it, I think the scenery just compensates for it. Most of the beaches there, from what I found out, are free to swim. Yeah. Um, but they say... There's no shaded area, so you really need to bring your own towel and stuff. A uh, towel, uh, you, your own umbrella. What you could do also is go to Rome, and from Rome at Civita Vecchia, there's tons of cruises. Mm-hmm. So you can literally take a boat, yeah. and it'll take you to. It won't take you to. Uh, you know, the, the the cruise ships are way too big for that. Yeah. Uh, to go to the Amalfi Coast, but the cruise ship will take you to Sorrento, and then you take a cab, mm-hmm. you hop on a cab, and you get go to the Amalfi Coast. Yeah. Do a couple of hours and then go back to the ship. It's it's fucking stunning, man. Well, that's it. And now, I mean, if you visit the Amalfi, another good part of the Amalfi is actually Capri, um, and they say that's a must see place, which which it is. It's isn't all there that? The isn't the there that that place where you go in the? Uh, there's a little like a. A, a grotto, co- a cove where it's, you they call it the Blue Grotto. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you you would take a boat to go in there. And one thing about Italy is that you can actually um, captain your boat yourself. You don't need a permit. Like I know for a fact when I went to Puglia, I did uh, Isola Tremiti, and they have three islands, and we got our own boat. <laughs> right? What? You got your own boat? Got our, oh, I mean, you have to pay for it, obviously. Yeah. And it's quite expensive. It was 600 uh, euro at the time. Yeah, fun goal. Yeah, that was to go see that blue thing. Did you go? I, no, I, never... I didn't go to the grotto. I didn't go to the grotto, but um, we did the taxi, did the Capri, we did the Positano. I was in Sorrento, I was in Siena, so we did that whole block. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't do that at the time, which I regret. How come? It. The grotto is like that's I the only know. thing that's that I know about Capri. I regret not doing it. I don't remember why at the time uh, we didn't do it. But um, either it was maybe a time-constrained thing. It could have been at the time. 
because uh, it's, it's pretty cool apparently you have to go at the right time of day yeah and you have to literally duck because yes. the boat barely fits in you got to duck and you're into like a cove so yeah. you're on the water but in like a rock yeah and, and it's sun, blue yeah the sun the way the sun shines in the water's like super neon. blue neon blue and it, yeah. apparently it's stunning so i don't know that's, yeah uh, i would like to do that like honestly i really would um i would have to go back though and, and just sort of yeah. take that trip yeah, well, that's a couple of thousand come on okay. just pop it out yeah but if i was there i would want to stay like i would i don't think i would just hit the amalfi i think i would just hit the surrounding towns as well but the the crazy part to get there is the narrow road <laughs> the yeah. narrow road it's um it's, it's oh yeah, I didn't go on the top. It, yes. does, it looks. Oh, fucking I did. I was there by bus. So we looks didn't go by car. Scary as fuck. It was because when you're on the right, so the way the car is positioned, like the edge is like right here, yeah. so you're right at the edge. That sucks. So if you're just like you know, you do a quick maneuver, you're going down. <laughs> yeah, what the I, fuck? Yeah, it was pretty. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. But it's actually true, and it's an experience. If you really want to shit your pants then I suggest you try it. Wow. Uh, yeah. But I mean, I'm, pri I'm, I'm privileged. I mean, I, I'm privileged in the sense that my, my family comes from the South on my mom's side. You're privileged because you get to do this podcast with me. That's why you're privileged. No, I think the privilege is yours, Vanny. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Because I'm talking about something that I've done. What do you mean? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, so, yes, it's, it is. Anyway, I suggest. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I mean, any, anytime you go to Italy, it's phenomenal. So I definitely suggest Amalfi is one of the one of the places uh, for pic picturesque, for a good meal, for a, an amazing. I know I've said the word charm a few times, but yeah. there's something to it that it's it's hard to explain. And even in pictures, you see it, it looks nice. But when you're walking there and there's mm -hmm. a, an artist painting something and you're walking up the mountain, there's a waterfall, like yes. not a waterfall. But they have their water is super fresh there. Yes. And you're, it's just there's something amazing man they, they, they. yeah and and then when you go there i mean they it's it's all about the water as well and it's yeah. about the view but it's not about the water and they say that um one of my favorite colors is turquoise so they say that the waters are they they look turquoise i don't know i remember it being mediterranean like the mediterranean being blue like really like a royal blue yeah. but uh, i guess when you go towards the grotto it looks more why are you laughing i don't know That's why are so you funny. laughing i don't know because <laughs> <laughs> i want to go back el grotto the grotto maybe it's the name <laughs> so um the towns okay they have specific towns that uh surround the amalfi so they say that the coastline is the t of the towns are the positano amalfi and ravello Oh, Ravello. That's Ravello. the one I was So those are for. your three main charming little and towns. There's not one person who knows about Ravello. <laughs> <I guess no laughs> That's one goes the there. next okay. podcast. We'll tune into Ravello. So, um, so yeah. So, I mean, it's at the southernmost point. It is in Calabria. And um, that's half of where I'm from. The other half is Campo Basso. And, okay, no, I shouldn't say half because I'm a mixture of all. So the predominance comes from <laughs> Calabria and Campo Basso. Uh -huh. But on my grandfather's side, on my mother's side, I'm, there's Sicilian, which is true, and French from France. Explains a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty tough. I'm pretty tough cookie. Well, besides that, I mean, I think we've given a pretty good... Um, rendition of... Rendition of something to do uh, in Italy. There's a million, but that's pretty cool. I love, and, uh, um, I love the fact that I, that's the area that I would just like to concentrate on really? when I go back. Yes, because I did the Adriatic side. I did Termoli the last time I went, which the waters are just as beautiful. And the, the, the whole, the towns are just as beautiful. They're just small. But did you do Rome? Yes, I did. Okay. I, was, uh, I stayed a block from the Trevi Fountain. Okay. So cool. I did Rome. I, we did Vatican City, uh, Sistine, that whole thing. And then we, we headed out to Campo Basso. So oh, by nice. bus, we straight we went down. So it's... Yeah. Other than that, how was your week? Because now, you know, just to know how Elise is doing. It was pretty good. Busy. It was pretty good. Just a tough week, working like crazy. Um, I have my... Uh, my another adventure coming up soon in Europe. So I can't wait for that. Yeah, you show off. Yes, uh, I am. Um, we have to try to get Alfie and... Francesca. And Francesca, both on the podcast at the same time. Oh. <coughs> wow. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I know. Me stong a fuga, while you. Bah, suced. Are you okay? Drink your thing. Wow. 
Yeah, we got to get both. We got excited. We got to get all four of them at the like all four of us at the same time. Oh, yeah, I know it's been a while. It's and been you a know while. what? If there's anyone watching, please leave us some topics on what we can do on the podcast. We yeah. always try to you know keep it Italian based, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, this is just no. It's only called a couple, couple, couple <laughs> of Italian Canadians having fun. Yeah, cumbares. We call each other cumbares. Yes, uh, but it's fun. It's we have a lot of fun. So it could be anything, man. We can just and we could just joke around all day. Yeah. I do want to do a little. Uh, a little, uh, what do we used to do? Segment yeah. of Steph's Gigs. Okay, go. Uh-huh. Yes, go ahead. Go Don't for it. Don't fuck around, man. <laughs> uh, so I did a gig last week, mm-hmm. and it was a lot of fun. I mean, I think I told you about it already, but we had 800 people, or 750 to be fair, uh, at St. James Theater, they call it. But it's Wow, a, that's crazy. So it wasn't, I thought it was an old church, but it's an old bank. Oh my God, that's crazy. It, but like, it looks like a church because it's huge. The ceilings are super high. The inside looks like a church yeah. or it looked like an old church. Uh, but it was a bank because they literally have the vaults and they have, oh, in the vaults, they have different rooms. Oh. So like they had a bar in the vault. <gasps> that is so neat. It was, I mean, they had a hundred bars because everyone was fucking plastered. Hmm. Um, but it was a, it was a, it's something to talk about because the 750 people, just to show you sometimes how much money there is in the corporate world. This is a company that, does a, a party a month in a different city of the world. Yeah. So they literally, wow. they did Thailand. They did, uh, uh, what was the other place they did? A month ago they were in, um, oh my God, I can't remember. Super far. Uh, was it Thailand? You just said Thailand. They, I know that was one of them. Anyway, they do, uh, no, maybe a Scandinavian Ooh. country. I can't remember. They pick okay, Vienna. Maybe Scandinavia. it was Scandinavia. <laughs> Scandinavian country, yeah. Wow. Anyway, I can't remember, but literally, uh, there's a city in the world that they do once a month where all these 800 people show up. Oh, wow. And have a fucking party like I've never seen before. That is sick. They partied hard. Like, nice. they, and the company goes way all out. Like, full food, they're all fed, the bar is open. What? Just imagine open bar for 800 people. Wow. Uh, they had, like, a, a jazz cocktail, they had a saxophone show. They had, uh, uh, what else did they have? I don't remember. Uh, oh, oh, you're they had forgetting a, all a of a sudden. DJ, yeah, I know. On? It was last week. They had a DJ uh, with a 10-piece band and two technicians. Like, it was crazy money spent on it. A lot of fun. And the crowd was out of this world. Nice. Some weird dudes, you know, leopard suits and fur coats all over. There was a guy wearing nothing but a fur coat. And he had pants and a fur coat. Maybe it was cold. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, but it was, uh, <laughs> they partied hard. So I wanted to, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe you'll see some pictures of it or whatever, yeah, or some video. On. There'll be uh, some pictures because it was wild. At one point, like we were playing, you'll probably see we were playing Titanium and they just, like our singers stopped singing and let them sing and it. Oh, was, nice. It was like a rock concert. It was, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh my God. Yeah. To yeah. entertain that many, that number of people, that must have been like some heavy duty. It's fun. I've lightning. done it before. I've done it before, but. Yeah. That they were into it. So when they're when oh, that energy that. is like I could play all night when there's that energy. It's so much fun. Well that's the best. I mean, especially when you they're engaging, right? Because if they're not engaging and you're just Absolutely. playing and they're just watching you. Absolutely. Oh my god. But that's like serious noise. Yeah, it was fun. It was a oh, lot of nice. fun and uh, yeah. <clears throat> I just wanted to throw it out there because it was, an, it, was a, it was a good experience and uh, well I we enjoyed. do have the segment for Steph's gigs so yeah that's, so that's why I figured you know, <laughs> yeah just, just shut it right in just, yeah, you gotta give us a, a segment next week you should give us a, I should a Dolce you do you, you do some fucking serious Dolce's I like my Dolce's I do, I do like my Dolce's. It is quite good. Um, I'm not saying I'm the best I do enjoy doing it though I mean cool. I've been doing quite a bit lately too which is, I didn't see any but whatever but that's what happens. So on that note. On that note, guys, enjoy. Make sure you enjoy. Like, take the time. If you can travel to Italy, do it. If you can have one of Lisa's cookies, do it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> if you want to come and see me on a gig, do it. <laughs> enjoy. And if, like we said before, if you have any other um, suggestions of what we could talk about, we'd love to do it. You know, yeah. whatever it is. Even if we don't know about it, we'll make jokes about it. And yep. it's fun. So. And we'll inform you because I'm the researcher. Yes, So absolutely. you'll know you'll be properly informed. As you got that little town called Varelle, what is it? Ravello. Ravello, I was close. That's why awesome. I'm here. Yep. It would go down. Awesome. Alrighty, so thanks so much, guys. We'll see you the next time with another super topic. See ya. Bye. Bye.